Agra Canal A proposed waterway that will span over 100 kilometers in length. It will cut across the Malay Peninsula in Thailand and promises to shorten the time it takes to sail from the South China Sea to the Indian Ocean by five days. Many commentators have said that once completed, the canal would destroy the economies of Malaysia and Singapore. How true is this? But more importantly, will the canal ever be built? Let's talk about that today. This is the Singapore Strait, one of the world's busiest waterways. At any one point of time, there are at least 1,000 ships in the strait. One of the reasons is Singapore's position along this critical trade route. Ships travelling between the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean will go through the Singapore Strait as the shortest logical route. It has been estimated that up to a third of the world's traded goods go through these waters annually. That's about 38 million 20-foot containers every single year. Ports that have benefited from this trading volume include Port Klang in Malaysia and the Port of Singapore, which is now the second busiest port in the world. But what if ships can take a shortcut across the Malay Peninsula similar to what has been done in the Panama Canal? Not only will this save about 5 days of sailing time, but it will also save about 350,000 US dollars in fuel per ship. Given these benefits, it has been suggested that a canal be built across the Thai Isthmus. The waterway would connect the Andaman Sea and the Gulf of Thailand, and allow ships travelling between the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea to bypass the Straits of Malacca and Singapore. This idea was first floated by King Narai of Siam in 1677. But the technology did not exist at that time. Over the next 300 years, various kings thought about building the canal at various locations throughout this isthmus. But the idea never came to fruition given the cost involved, which is estimated to be about 25 billion US dollars today. That is equivalent to building the Petronas Twin Towers 20 times over. But after a lull of more than 300 years, a potential backer emerged in 2015, the Chinese. That year, the China-Thailand Kra Infrastructure Company signed an MOU to develop the canal. However, nothing has moved since then. In 2018, Thailand's then Prime Minister Prayut chan -ocha even declared that the canal was not a government priority. What are the chances that the project will ever see the light of day? The Kra Canal will likely never take off due to the following factors. Firstly, the most promising investor in the program, China, does not need the canal anymore. A major consideration why China was interested to fund the program in the first place was to secure its energy sources. China imports about 80% of its crude oil. There were concerns that the US could enact a blockade on Chinese crude oil imports from the Singapore Strait. But today, China is no longer worried about this given its presence in the port of Gwada in Pakistan. China's energy imports can now bypass the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea, overland across the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Without China, who else would find any benefits in funding the Kra Canal project? Secondly, is Thailand's worries over a restive Muslim region. Muslims comprise Thailand's largest religious minority and they are located mainly in the southern provinces. 
These Muslims can trace their history to the Sultanate of Patani that ruled over the province for about 500 years. Within this community, a number of parties have called for an independent Muslim state in Southern Thailand. These demands have contributed to the still ongoing conflict between the Thai government and the Muslim separatists. A canal across the Kra Isthmus would effectively create a Muslim region separated from the Thai mainland. And this might further encourage the separatist movements. And thirdly, but perhaps most importantly, are the environmental and social impacts from an excavation of the canal. Excavating the canal will displace about 100,000 people and destroy more than 90 villages. And given that the canal would cut through mountainous areas, there is significantly more earth to move when compared to digging the Panama Canal. Not to mention the thousands of acres of forests and plantations that will have to be destroyed and the marine ecosystems that would be wiped out. It is unclear if the livelihood loss from these destructions will ever be replaced with the jobs that might be generated from the canal. Today, plans for the Kra Canal have yet to progress beyond the proposal stage. Given the factors that we just went through, it remains unlikely that the canal will ever be built. What do you think? Do leave us your thoughts below.